this is Denise with Baby Go Home Care and this video is in part with another video I did at the hospital um, on how to burp a baby and I show you four ways but um, with that said I um, have a few ideas to help you some tips and tricks to help you when you're burping a baby and they're spitting up too much so a baby's tummy is no bigger than a marble and um, they can't have a whole lot right off the bat. The first three days, they're gonna, you know, they're doing their good just to eat it and, and to pee and to poop. And if your pediatricians want them to, to eat a good bit, you know, you don't want them to go over, you know, greater than 10, um, you know, 10% of their body weight. Um, so, you know, they're gonna want to supplement and things like that and make sure they're not jaundice or, or getting, there will be jaundice, but to make their numbers go down some. And it's based on a scale. So when they tell you something, don't, don't freak out. Um, ask your nurse. Anyhow, um, so if you are feeding a baby and they're spitting up and they're getting really gassy or you notice you lay them dead and they're spitting up, whether it's at home or the hospital, slow their feedings down. You can do a slower uh, bottle or um, if they're not feeding enough, then you could use a, a large bottle, a nipple. Um, what you can do is take, let them have just five mils of formula or breast milk and then stop them you know, and, and burp them or just give them a minute. You know, uh, if you're using a pacifier, put a pacifier in their mouth and let them suck a little bit. If you're breastfeeding, you can use your pinky as the closest thing you have to your nipple. If they're getting mad, let it go down a little bit. Um, and then give them, you know, five more and then five more until you hit 20 or whatever the hospital is recommending for you to uh, get or your pediatrician's recommending at home. Um, if it is a breastfeeding baby, sometimes they are gassy and burpy because of the latch. So if you hear, that's not good. That is a sippy cup sound and that means they're going to start sucking too wrong and you're probably going to be getting a blister. So if you hear the more of a, where you can see their throat and you know, closing and opening and making that swallowing sensation, that is better what you want to hear. So when you look at them, you want them to have almost like a, like a duck lip, you know, God makes it indented in, so it fits perfectly. So sometimes if you can't get that, um, tilt the roof of the, your, the nipple to the roof of the mouth, I mean. So you would kind of, if your breast is here, you kind of want to tilt it up a little bit so it touches the roof of the mouth. And, you know, if you're having problems breastfeeding, put your finger in their mouth. Well, how high is their palate? If it goes all the way here, well, we might need like a nipple shield. Um, and I will uh, have all the links and tips on how to help with um, breastfeeding and, and burping in the links um, below um, on Amazon. So, but if it's halfway and you just need a little tilt, then, then try that. Um, also, until your milk comes in, your breasts are kind of soft. So sometimes making a ball and kind of fill it, raise it and get up, make it kind of fat and tilt it and get up will give them a better latch. Um, if you um, have large breasts, um, put a washcloth up underneath your, you know, your breast here and that will help you um, kind of not have to worry about holding your breast and holding the baby and, you know, and having it lift up. So a good seal will help with that latch. So, and honestly, on breastfeeding, the first, more, first and most important thing is the latch. The second one is the burp. So after they've been on for 15, 20 minutes, you know, give them a break, see if they fall off. And you can put your finger in their mouths and see if you rub the roof of the mouth. Then they just go to town, then they're still hungry. If they completely fall off, then you can go to the other side. But we used to a long time ago do 10 and 10 or 15 and 15. We do until they fall off completely. And if they do, then we go to the next side um, because of the latch. The latch is the most important thing because you can get a blister in about a minute. If you hear that, you know, they want to make sure their mouth is completely open. And the simplest way I can tell you to have a latch, a, per a really perfect latch, is say this is um, your nipple and this is the baby's mouth and nose. You put the nipple to the front and don't let them go left or right, but to the tip, nip to the tip. And once they smell that and you've got that colostrum there, they'll open that mouth and then you kind of tilt that breast to the roof of their mouth. And that is a perfect latch. It's the simplest way I can tell you because little boys are going to go all over and little girls are just going to wait and take their time and latch on because boys kind of want instant gratification and girls want everything perfect like we do in life. Um, so, on the and so after this i have a video that shows a simple four ways to help you the baby you burp a baby every baby is different 
Um, so you can try one, two, or all four and see if any of these work for you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from y'all and um, good luck with your burping. Thank you. baby. First of all, the way I'm holding them, you're going to put your hands like this. One above the arm, one below the arm, and around. So one here, one here, one here. First one, you want to cup your hands and you go down. And yes, it sounds like I'm vibrating him because I'm trying to vibrate a burp out. <laughs> if that doesn't work, you can pull them over your shoulders. If you were gassy, you wouldn't lay flat. So you go up. Yeah, we'll get out, up and down. The third way is you want to move them. Go back and forth. There you go. Good. Fourth way, put them on a little tummy time. Let's see if you can get a burp out that way. That's it, four ways. Okay.